More than 200 bodies are lying on different parts of Mount Everest. They all have different stories to tell. Some of them were abandoned by their friends. A few of them fell from Everest and faced death due to severe physical injuries. There were a few who got lost and couldn't find their way back home, but death found them. Have we ever felt like you want to know their story? What happened to these people? How did they die? Well, one of the most famous bodies is that of Si Wang Palger, popularly known as Green Boots. In 1996, Indo-Tibetan border police conducted an expedition to Mount Everest. Si Wang was one among the team of four members. He hailed from a small village named Sakti, situated in Ladakh. He was part of a big family and had five siblings. He and his team were going to be the first Indians to climb Mount Everest from the northern side. Did they make it possible? If it's a yes, then press the like button and let's wait and see. Harbhajan Singh, Dorji Moru, and Si Wang Smanla were the other people who were in the team. They enthusiastically started climbing Mount Everest. As days passed, they reached Camp 6. They overslept due to exhaustion, and they could only start their next hike at 8 a.m., which put them behind a few hours. They planned to return to Camp 6 by 3 p.m., but only Harbhajan Singh returned. The rest of them ignored him and continued their journey. Mohinder Singh was the expedition leader, and he was alerted at 3 p.m. by the three of them as they spoke to him through a walkie-talkie. They requested permission to continue their hike to the summit as it was only an hour away. Mohinder refused, and he warned them about the dangerous climate conditions they had to face ahead. They again requested his permission and assured him of their safety, as all three of them felt energetic enough to climb to the summit. Before Mohinder could say anything, the radio got disconnected. Are you curious to know what happens next? Before that, let's smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss a single video from Mountaineers. The three of them continued their journey despite the warnings of the expedition leader. Their ardent desire to reach the summit made them turn a deaf ear to Mahinder Singh. After quite some time, Mahinder's walkie-talkie got connected again and the team let him know that they had reached the summit. Even though Singh was so proud of them, he expressed his concerns and asked the team to come down without wasting any time. Harbhajan Singh was waiting for his teammates back at Camp 6, but as time passed, he realized that something happened to them. On the very same night, eight men lost their previous lives. This news made Harbhajan panic even more. There was a commercial climbing camp for the Japanese. Harbhajan approached them as the camp was situated nearby. He requested their help to find out his teammates. He used the help of a Sherpa to translate his request to them. Hiroshi and Isuke were on their way to the summit and promised to help out his stranded teammates on their way. After a few hours, the Japanese leader informed Harbhajan that the two climbers up there saw Moru and they proceeded with their journey to the summit. Harbhajan was shocked to know that they didn't even care to bring Marup down. Later on, Hanada and Shigikawa, along with their Sherpas, sighted Si Wang and Smanla, but they did not stop to inquire about them or give them a helping hand. They continued their expedition to reach the summit. How can people be so heartless? Why did they refuse to help them out? How can these people be so competitive? Si Wang Palger was a man who dreamed big. His family was waiting for his arrival back in Ladakh. Fate was cruel to him and his family as they couldn't even say goodbye to him. His lifeless body still lies on Mount Everest. No one came to rescue him and he was frozen to death. With his big bright green boots, he was easily spotted by the climbers as his lifeless body lay near the summit. But it's nearly impossible to bring him down as he lies at the higher altitude part of Mount Everest. Every year, a new climber would spot him and call him green boots. His boots became his identity and his name. He was no longer known as the 28-year-old Si Wang Palger, at least not to people who are unaware of his story. In 2017, Russian climbers managed to build a cave using rocks for Green Boots to rest peacefully. It's now known as Green Boots Cave. Would he be alive today if he was helped by the Japanese climbers? Let us know through your comments.